Hi everyone and welcome to Booked Up, a TV show featuring the adult collection and programs at the Peters Township Public Library. I'm Diane, Circulation Manager. And I'm Mary, Head Cataloger. Diane, we're back. Can you believe it? They actually <laughs> invited us back after that first show we did. Of course they did. That was a really good show. I think they're just desperate for content on this TV station. Oh, that's not true. Community TV, this community TV station only puts on quality programs. And we're gonna be coming back every uh, couple of months going forward. That's why I made us these beautiful t-shirts. A t-shirt, <laughs> oh my God, look how official that looks. Well, in that case, we better start this program and you could tell us about new upcoming fiction. Okay, well just for fun, um, I decided to see which fiction books had been checked out the most during the month of June. And there was one particular author who had four books on the list. Do you want to take a guess? James Patterson. Happily, no. <gasps> uh, it was Colleen Hoover, another wow. really popular um, hmm. author. Well, we have a lot of good books um, coming out in the next month or two. And if you like thrillers, you are going to be thrilled. <laughs> See what I did there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gone Tonight by Sarah Pacannon uh, will be released on August 1st. And this is the riveting story of a mother and daughter uh, filled with buried secrets and jaw-dropping deception. Mm -hmm. um, Good Bad Girl by Alice Feeney will be arriving on shelves on August uh, 29th. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, so good people have to do bad things. This book promises to be another thrilling mystery filled with drama and suspense. And it wouldn't be a booked up episode if we didn't have a new James Patterson book to talk about. Lion and Lamb is set to be released in mid-August. In this book, Patterson introduces two new characters, a prosecutor and a defense lawyer. Do you think this is gonna be the beginning of a new series? I would bet on it. <laughs> I hope not. Sorry, James, no one has room for that. Here are some other upcoming titles that are sure to, sure to be as hot as the pickleball court in August. <laughs> <laughs> the Invisible Hour by Alice Hoffman, Tom Lake by Ann Patchett, Just Another Missing Person by Jillian McAllister. Uh, her last book, Wrong Place, Wrong Time, was really excellent. Uh, Dead Mountain by Douglas Preston, The Breakaway by Jennifer Weiner. <laughs> Holly by Stephen King. Mm. Um, Holly is a character from the Mr. Mercedes series, which was really good. Uh, Out of Nowhere by Sandra Brown. Vince Flynn's Code Red by Kyle Mills. And 23 and a Half Lies by James Patterson. <laughs> That's his September book, I guess. Yeah, it is. Well, with all these new books coming out, um, we really need to book a few vacations so we have time to relax and read. Well, funny you should mention that because I want to uh, point out to our viewers that the library does have travel guidebooks available. Now, the latest thing is that we put them in their own travel section on the second floor, and we have a nice table display up there right now during travel season as well. And shelved right next to the guidebooks are the travel DVDs. Nice and convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people research travel topics online and they download travel apps to their phones, which is uh, handy when you're at your destination. But I just uh, think you can't beat a traditional guidebook when you're doing your research at home before you go. And some of them have these um, pull out, fold out maps so that you can get the lay of the land. Mm -hmm. And actually some of the newer uh, publishers are offering uh, bonus downloadable ebook uh, content with, along with the book. Yeah, that's really helpful. That's the best of both worlds. Now, during the, the uh, COVID pandemic, uh, back in 2020, the uh, publication of these books came to a screeching halt due to the COVID pandemic. And uh, in 2021, we saw a few titles limp through. And in 2022, you could see like the gathering momentum mm -hmm. that they were coming back. And I have to say that the new titles we have for 2023, and we've got some slides about those for our patrons uh, to look at, uh, um, some of the new titles in 2023. And the first are uh, a group of um, 
uh, United States destinations. And then as we move through the slides, you'll see your favorite, Diane, some island destinations. Uh, I love my beach vacations. For, for your beach vacations. And moving on to the slide after that, we will see uh, European des destinations. There are your islands. Yes. And then uh, that's uh, Canada. And then here we've got some Europe and then some more European destinations. And we're trying to show also in the upcoming slides some other continents. Um, so uh, th there we have um, going into um, Africa actually. And on the final slide, there's a new one that I'd like to mention. And that is, I think this might be our first guide to African safaris that we've gotten. And that's definitely a specialized travel destination. And you would want to research very carefully the tour companies that are mm -hmm. taking you on a safari tour because I mean it's they're taking you among lions and tigers and, and bears. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I definitely saw, see some of my um, bucket list uh, destinations there. So, Mary, I'm really um, excited about um, the Read Local, Eat Local event that we are going to be having at the library um, Saturday, September 9th. Um, Sydney's going to talk a little bit more about it later, but I just wanted to highlight um, a few of the 22 authors that are going to be wow. attending. So we have coming local newscaster, Kara Sapita. She'll be here with her book, Not the Breast Year of My Life. Um, and that's the personal story um, of her battle with breast cancer mm -hmm. um, as the mother of two young children and during the coronavirus pandemic. Wow. Um, she seems like such a sweet person on WPXI and I am really excited to meet her. Uh, Matthew Battistone is a local Finleyville author mm -hmm. and he'll be here with his first book. Um, Horrors of the Night is a collection of short stories that will send shivers down your spine. And I'm sure everyone knows our next author, Jim O'Brien. He's a local McMurray resident uh, who's written more than 30 books about the Pittsburgh sports scene. His latest book, The Strangest Season, uh, focuses on how the coronavirus pandemic affected our lives from sports to politics and religion. Abigail Drake was also a featured author at our event last year. Um, she was so popular, she's coming back with her new book, Writing Mr. Wright. Looks like a romance novel. Mm -hmm, as well as 20 of her other novels. Uh, J.V. Hilliard is the author of the adult fantasy series, The Warminster, and that's described as a gripping, epic action, heart-pounding adventure. Sarah McKnight is the author of several young adult books. Uh, her latest book, Life, Love, and Lipstick, Charlie's Story, um, looks to be full of teen angst. Um, it was such a great event last year. Oh, the food trucks were great. I look forward to that. We Food trucks, um, children's entertainment. Uh, I hope everyone in the community um, will come out and support the amazing local talent that we have here. That's great. Uh, I want to pass on a tip while we're on air because I get asked all the time by patrons, what's new in nonfiction? What's a good book to read in nonfiction? And I always say stop into the library because on the first floor lobby area, we've got our new book uh, shelf area mm -hmm. and fiction is on the left and nonfiction is on the right. So you'd be certain if you're browsing there to find something good. Right. Yes. But if you can't make it into the library, please check out our website mm -hmm. at ptlibrary.org. And on there, you'll see the new and notable nonfiction banner. And what that is, is it's a uh, revolving carousel of book covers. And you can click on it either on the left or on the right and scroll through and look at the titles. And if you see something you like, you can click on it mm -hmm. and get more information about the book. Yeah, if, the, if you click on the link, it will take you right to our catalog. Um, you can see if the book is available you can place a hold on it. Um, I for, forgot right about from that screen. I forgot yeah. about that. You of all people forgot about the catalog. <laughs> Unforgivable. Um, but the thing about that banner is that um, you will see some bestsellers on there, some mm -hmm. books that you recognize, authors that you recognize. But the point of it really is to put a spotlight on books that you might otherwise miss. They're on a variety of topics. 
Uh, they got good reviews, and some of them are actually entertaining and funny. They're quirky. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Here's a quirky one. Edison's Ghosts uh, by Katie Spaulding. And in this book, the author not only um, puts a spotlight on Edison, but other scientists and inventors and geniuses, both good geniuses and evil <laughs> geniuses, I guess, uh, and some of the weird things they believed or weird projects that they got involved mm -hmm. with. And Edison actually thought that he could develop a spirit phone. And, and you can see the ghost Ooh. over there. <laughs> um, <laughs> He thought that he would be able to connect with them and maybe record mm -hmm. their ghostly sounds. I don't know, yeah. but uh, as we know, the spirit phone uh, the spirit phone did not get through to anyone, or even get a busy signal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, Sydney's going to be coming up next. Uh, she's going to talk about all of the exciting programs and events that are coming up for you this fall. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, it's Sydney from the library. I'm the Program and Outreach Coordinator and I'm here to share some of our exciting adult programs coming up this fall. We've had a very busy summer and we are not slowing down yet. And we're just gonna to touch on a few of the things we have coming up for August and September. And to view a full list of our programs, you can always go to our website. But before I get into the programs, I actually wanna introduce a new face that you may have seen around the library and that is Sarah. So um, you may have noticed that we had a vacancy for a little bit in our tech services department. And so Sarah joined us in May, I believe, and she's our technology and makerspace librarian. She has been doing one-on-one -on -one book of librarian appointments and taking some time to learn the different equipment and technology that we have at the library. So I brought a few examples with me to show off some things that she has been doing. So first up, we have some items from our 3D printer. So, or I'm sorry, 3D pins. So right here we have the Eiffel Tower. You can see it's a sturdy little guy and um, can stand up on its own. So a 3D pin, you put the filament into it like you would a 3D printer, and you can actually freestyle and create different things. Something else she created is this necklace. So you would put your string on it and you could wear it like a necklace. So there's talks of doing a, a 3D pin jewelry workshop coming up in the future. Some other items I have are 3D printed items. So here we have a little octopus. Um, I told her it would have been funnier as a rocktopus. I don't know if anyone's seen the Dwayne the Rock Johnson stuff going around, very entertaining. And then we have a planter pot that even has drainage holes in the bottom. And those were both made with our 3D printer. And then um, a couple of things made with our Cricut. So these are some layered silhouettes. This one's pretty flat. Um, and then this one has some foam pieces between it to kind of give it a little more depth and add layers to it. So she's working on our event calendar now and adding some workshops. So if you want to view the things that are coming up, you can always go to ptlibrary.org um, slash events and you'll be able to see those programs on there. And the makerspace programs are gonna be very small workshops. So if you see it fill up, don't be afraid to put yourself on the wait list so you can come back to it later. Okay. Um, some other things we have coming up, Diane touched on Read Local, Eat Local already. So I'm gonna speak a little bit more to that event. Here's a few pictures from last year's event. This is held outside now. We have very large event tents. Um, three long ones for all 22 of our authors will have this year and then a large event tent for eating in addition to three food trucks. So um, we'll be set up at a front table giving away some goodies to our first hundred guests that come through and the more authors you go around and visit the better chances you have of winning a raffle basket. Here's another slide with the information for this year's event. So it's gonna be Saturday, September 9th, like Diane mentioned earlier. It's gonna go from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
We'll have 22 local authors with 106 books that they're bringing between them. They have written many, many more. And then we'll have three food trucks, Tango, Argentinian food, hot dogs, you can guess, and then Donut Envy, which has many donuts. So if you wanna view the full list of authors, you can go to ptlib.org slash read local, eat local, or R-L-E-L. Um, another fun and exciting thing that we have coming up in August is to cemeteries and tombstones. Um, no, yeah, tombstones and cemeteries. So this is presented by um, a local history guru who go goes out a lot into cemeteries and researching their own and other um, individuals' genealogical information. So she shares some tips and tricks about whenever you go into a cemetery that might not be um, upkept and what you should bring to be prepared, but also some information about how American cemeteries have progressed over time and what different markings on tombstones could mean as you see them. Another event we have is our flag was still there. Um, Tom McMillan is a local author as well. He used to work for the Pittsburgh Penguins and he um, wrote a book about Flight 95 that crashed in Pennsylvania on 9-11. His newest book, Our Flag Was Still There, does focus on the flag um, that was at the War of 1812 and inspired the song. So this is going to be Wednesday, August 16th at the library, and this is going to be a hybrid program. We have several of these on our calendar, so you can join us at the library or you can join us online and watch it via Zoom. If you have any questions about these programs, feel free to reach out to me at the library. Something else we have coming up is another history focused one called Presidential Artifacts. There is a local individual who has one of the largest private collections of presidential artifacts in the United States. So some items that he has, um, I don't have any of them with me, they're his, but like a Richard Nixon shower head, which was jarring to look at, um, a, a soap baby doll, I can't remember which uh, president that was from, but you know, it's beyond just your typical campaign buttons. A lot of interesting things from throughout history um, that different presidents and candidates did to try to um, get their names out there and garner popularity with the communities. Um, moving a little bit away from history, we are going to be pottering around the UK. So this is going to be done by Claire Evans. She's a speaker we've had several times. Um, she'll be joining us virtually, but you can come to the library or uh, participate via Zoom. So this is more of a travel-focused presentation, and it's gonna be focused on the different actual locations in Great Britain that inspired um, places within the wizarding world and also um, some places that they filmed. And then last but not least, we have Growing Great Garlic. So if you came to our composting presentation in June, you probably met Dr. Candy DeBerry. She's going to be back and she's going to be talking about growing great garlic and different things um, you can do. The best time to plant garlic is, you know, in later fall, but first before all those hard frosts. So September is a pretty good time for this presentation to get you geared up for some fun. Um, now, a few more things I have to share with you. Show of hands, who all's heard of this book, Lessons in Chemistry? It is, um, has been on the New York bestseller list for over 50 weeks now, and I'm sure if Mary were here, she could tell us the exact number. This is going to be our upcoming August book club discussion, so if you've read it, come join us on August 9th um, at 6.45 p.m. at the library, or if you haven't read it yet, we still have some copies available at the library for checkout for book club use. So you can come upstairs to the library to the reference desk and sign out a copy. Um, this has gained, gained a lot of popularity and it's already been optioned for, I think, a TV show. Um, haven't read it yet, so can't talk to it personally, but it is um, female focused, has a historical aspect to it, and it's just supposed to be a lot of fun. And then in September, we have library card sign up month. So if for some reason you don't have a library card yet, no worries, September's a great time to get one. Anytime's a great time to get one, but September is library card sign up month. So we'll have some extra fun stuff happening at the library and you can come on down and get your wagon card. Okay, 
I think that's it for me. So next up, we are going to be checking out um, an online resource that the library has, World Book Online. It's a great resource for kids in school doing research or anyone who's trying to find information without having to search through all of those um, browser or search engine results on your computer. So if you want to find some quick information, some quality information, World Book Online could be for you. World Book Online is an online encyclopedia that makes it easy for you to access information from home. It is an excellent resource for school-age students or anyone who is looking for more information. You can access World Book Online with your PTPL library card. Simply navigate to ptlibrary.org. From the home page, you can go to Resources. Scroll down to Research and Reference or select All Resources A to Z. Once you select World Book Online, you must type in your PTPL library card number. If you are accessing World Book Online from the same device, you can ask it to remember your card number. Once you are in World Book Online, you will see the different resources available. Early Learning is for pre-readers to play and discover visual worlds of information. You will find stories, games, and other activities for young children. A tab for grown-ups also invites parents and educators to find supports for specific standards or content. Kids contains image-driven content for curious kids to explore. You can research animals, individuals, and all sorts of things. Games are also available to help reinforce concepts and educator tools can also be found. Discover has foundational information presented for differentiation. Here you can search for a topic and view simplified or detailed articles. This is a great tool for students and it provides citation information for individuals doing research. Student has more of a school focus and contains more detailed information. When you are in an article, you can double click a word to define it. Citation information is also given and you can use the built-in screen reader or translation feature to make the content more accessible. Timelines provides a highly visual representation of events. You can view their curated timelines or create your own as you research. You can search for a specific topic and view related information. You can switch view as well. The Spanish Student Encyclopedia has a search feature and citation information. There is excellent information for native Spanish speakers or those who wish to learn. World Book Online has up-to-date information for learners of all ages. Visit us online to access this research tool with your PT library card. That was fun, wasn't it? We'll be back in a few months with another edition of Booked Up. In the meantime, let us help you get booked up with, a new, with new library programs, clubs, and books. The Peters Township Public Library is open Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 9 to 4. The library is closed on Sundays and on September 4th for Labor Day. But don't worry, we are always open online at ptlibrary.org. See you at the library.